currently represented at the uh, Elizabeth Gallery in Durham. Uh, I'm a photographer and started um, explaining what I'm doing here. Uh, essentially, I create still lifes from the remains of natural processes. Some are based in fancy, like this tomatillo shell with a Japanese lantern inside. I use heavy side lighting. Uh, it's a portrait of something that maybe it ought to exist, but actually it doesn't. I like to play with time and scale, um, a photograph within a photograph, a, a double still life, as it were, a before and after all in one place. Uh, I want you to pause and wonder about sequence and staging. It's, if you figure it out, it's okay. If you don't, that's okay. But at least I want you to pause and think about it. Uh, I like to create narratives uh, of time. Here, here, a future decayed pod on the left casts its foretelling shadow of the future of this present one on the right. Uh, again, sharp side lighting uh, propels, the, it's hard lighting pro propels the drama of the, of the image. Uh, this is an impression left by a small segment of some fresh plant pressed into a pad of white clay. I know it doesn't look like an impression, and I don't want it to, I didn't intend for it to. Um, I light it with the intention of showing it upside down. Um, it looks like relief, but it's actually more intaglio. Uh, this is the same thing. It, it looks like a leaf in relief, pardon the point here, but it's, it's, it's an impression. Uh, more, more intaglio, uh, sharp, low angle lighting uh, and an image presented upside down to secure this relief effect. So I would invite you to stand on your head to look at it. But that do. Uh, I love to play with dimension, creating impressions of, of extreme depth, three dimensional depth and two dimensional space. Everything is small and dead in my world, including this little three inch snake in this wasp paper uh, maze. Um, Well-defined layers is what I really concentrate on. I moved away from the camera into a scanner in this piece. I call it Linda's Bird. Um, it's scanner is one of my primary capture devices, and uh, the, the directional light give it a sort of a painterly, uh, a painterly effect of these dinosaur uh, remains. Uh, this is called Three from the Penland Lights. Uh, it was from my porch, uh, porch light at uh, Penland uh, School of Crafts that attracted these bugs. Nothing goes to waste in my art. Uh, insects, I don't harm any insects, but I use them. But again, uh, flat, uh, uniform lighting and sharp focus gives it that. Uh, okay, uh, after days of observing a really grotesque process involving a parasitic wasp and a caterpillar host, uh, I just picked up everything that was left over from it, everything that died. I picked it up, took it in my studio, created a still life narrative of this life cycle. It's a real time frozen drama. Sometimes I make stuff up. This is a, a drama, total fiction, of a burnt maple seed animal and some dead beetles, more stuff from my porch light. Uh, uh, create a holiday feast, uh, sort of like Salvador Dali's ants, uh, but not really uh, Dali. No, no, Picasso here. Uh, here are the remains of a praying mantis shedding uh, gave me the perfect diva. And I just couldn't resist, so I sat her in front of Picasso's seated woman, and admiring her own uh, her own portrait. Uh, I use a lot of remains, uh, and here uh, the remains of a caterpillar hunter beetle uh, in some kind of post-mortem choreographic pose. This is all fake here. Everything is fake except the beetle. It's a really a high resolution, focus stack portrait, uh, whims whimsically repurposed in this stark Dali-esque landscape. Uh, in my quest to get things off the surface of my paper, I create uh, very detailed planes of focus. Uh, to have the squirrel floating in space is what I'm after, floating over some kind of brillary textured background. Uh, speaking of squirrel skulls, um, this one may look like a Photoshop distortion, but it's not. It's, it's actually a live capture of a moving subject. It's a four second exposure of all the RGB artifacts that one normally tries to avoid, but I embrace them. I, I, I just, uh, I, I embrace them and take whatever it gives me. Finally, a self-portrait, a pigment ink transfer to a patterned oxidized aluminum plate. This is where my future work is going. Uh, that's my story, I'm sticking